What's going on? This your girl Kayla Ray Nicole Edwards. I'm coming to you all just like a little random chit chat video. I thought that we could have a little girls talk today. And based on the title of this video, you all see we're going to be talking about boys and sex. So, mom, if you're watching this video, please exit left. You look trying to press that X plus because you know you know it. All right, you should be done. So, um. For those of you all who do not know, this is your first video you're watching of me. My name is Kayla Ray Nicole Edwards. I'm a transgender woman, male to female. I've been in my transition for about maybe a year now. A year, almost a year next month. So, there you look inside of where my point of view is coming from. So, me being transgender is like, a lot of times men only want one thing, which is sex or head or something sexual you know in that in that category and I just don't be with all that like I don't be even trying to engage in the activities of that because that's just not me for me to for me to mess with you like I really have to have a connection with you I have to feel some type of way towards you for you to even go that far so that should right off the bat when it comes to men I am very mean. Like, niggas will walk up to me and be like, hey, what's your name? Why? I can't get your name? No. Can't get your number? No. Can I talk for you? No. No. You too mean to be smiling. You know, you too mean to be looking. You too, everybody, you too cute to look like that. So you like, what? You too cute to look mean. I am mean. Because niggas don't want shit. They don't want nothing. And when I say niggas, I include black, white, Chinese, Arabian, Dalmatian, and anything you can think of. There's a nigga in every culture, in every category, okay? And they all the same. They don't want nothing. So I just be like, what do you want? Why are you bothering me? Why are you hitting me up? No. But I will say that there have been three that I have took the extra step and started fucking it. Now, I need for people to understand that there is a big difference between saying you're talking to someone and saying that you're fucking with somebody. There's a big difference. You know, the sniffling. When you say talking to somebody, that's two people. I put on four. <laughs> I'm nasty. There's two people on the same page. Mutual conversations, talking about past, present, future, getting to know one another. They're both on the same page that this may evolve and grow into something. That's when you're talking to somebody. When you're fucking with someone, that's casual, chit chat, and good sex. Talking, fucking, talking, fucking. There's a difference, okay? So let's just make that, let's make that crystal clear. So, I have fucked with three dudes, okay? First of all, I need y'all to understand that I am new to all this sexual activity stuff. Like, I'm a good girl, honey. I ain't did all that kind of stuff. I'm 25. I'll be 25 next month. I ain't did all that all my life. I just started having sex last year. What's the day? September 2017. So, yes, I just started having sex last year, March of 2016, before I went out of town. And I've had three sexual partners since then. That's all. So, the first one, he was, I think I, I met him on Facebook, I believe. And we met on Facebook, and we hit it off. He was cool people, you know, so we started chit-chatting, and we wanted to start having sex, though. I think we had sex, like, maybe three times the whole time we was fucking around, and then we fucked around for, like, maybe a year, and we had sex, like, three times, because the background on him was, he had wound up telling me that he had a girlfriend, I was like, okay, I'm good on time. You know, that's funny. That's you and your people. So, thanks. But I like that beat. Give me hip, though. Don't leave me on the, don't leave me on the outside. Let me know. 
if you get a girlfriend, you got a girlfriend, you mess with somebody, let me know. I'm going to let you know. That shit, I like honesty. I hate liars. Don't lie to me. Be honest with me. Honesty, it goes a long way with me. So he let me know he was fucking with somebody. But the flip side of it, the person he was, the person he was talking to, the, his girlfriend, was somebody that I know. Real cool people, real sweet girl. She real nice, real cool. I know her well. Well, not well, but I know her. She cool people. We not friends or nothing, I wouldn't say, because we don't talk like that. But she, when I see her, it's no beef or nothing. We have a good conversation when we see each other. So we cool people. So, but we can't, me and him can fucking around because I'm like, you was my first and I feel comfortable having sex with you. So I'm not going to stop. But we want to have, if he told me that we want to have sex like two more times and then we stopped because I was comfortable with him, but I really wasn't feeling him. And even the sex, it wasn't really that good. Like the first time we had sex, it was good because it was sex. You know, I was like, oh my God, this is what sex feels like. It feels pretty good. But then the second, third time was just like, something just don't feel right. It was like he was just attacking me. Just, just, you know, attacking. So I'm like, oh, so. I ain't talked to him in, I don't know how long. He hit me up a little, he hit me up like early this year. And I thought to me, I was like, nah, I'm good. Have a good day, sir. Bye. I get turned off easily. I don't know how he made it this long, but he made it. So the second one was my dark skin. Oh, oh I miss him. Now, I met him back in high school. We went to high school together. And... We used to flirt back in high school or whatnot. I used to always look at him, look at me, smile, but not nothing big. But the time he was talking to a girl that I used to be cool with, she's still cool now, but we just don't talk. We don't talk in high school. So, but they was talking. He said it didn't talk, but you talk. And y'all lie. So, with him, I really did like him. I think that's why we quit talking, because I really did like him. And. The sex with him was really different. It was really passionate. It was really emotional. It was, I felt like, it felt like it was, it was connection. Like when we had sex, it was a connection. Like it wasn't just rough and it was just, it was good. It really was good. And I told my friends about it. I'm like, you know, what, I'm like, what is that? What's the difference? She was like, girl, you make him love you. I'm like, oh my God. So I really did like him. Like, but I tried not to let that feeling show until he started fucking up. And I said, people, don't lie to me. Don't try to play me. You can't play me. You can't do it. So he tried to play me. And with all this chit-chat about, oh, you know, I want to be yours. And, you know, I want you to be mine. You my girl. And what do you do? I'm like, don't say that because you don't mean that. I do mean that. What you mean? So I said, I can't play the game with you. Long story short, he was fucking up on bullshit. So he had to get the boot. Boot. I ain't talked to him since though, but I might hit him up with a little, hey, big head text. You never know, honey. <laughs> Only time will tell. <laughs> but <laughs> this last one, I met him through a site called POF. And we've been fucking around for like, I want to say like two weeks. Maybe it's been three weeks, maybe. And like, honestly, y'all, this time I'm going to sum him, this time, this time him up. I literally sit back. I get comfortable. And I think about him, and I just smile, and I just think to myself, damn, that nigga got some good dick. He really does. With him, it's really mind-blowing. It's really, really good. Now, y'all, this is my room for sex, okay? Nothing below a seven. No, nothing below a is it nothing below a seven? Nothing above a nine. Anything below a seven is a small penis. Anything above a nine ain't touching me. He's an eleven. He's a pretty big boy. Okay. And it's so weird because I'm like, I'm not gonna have sex with him. That's not gonna happen. And we did. I felt so nasty. <laughs> but y'all, it is what it is. Right now, I'm just enjoying good conversation and good dick. Because that's what it is right now. But make sure y'all come and follow me on Facebook. Kayla Ray Nicole Edwards. Snapchat at f.loop and Instagram at underscore forbidden fruit. Come follow me. Tell your friends. Everybody loves me. Come on, y'all.